that. I want to talk about rep returning. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, many people are a humongous fan of rep returning. Uh, you know what? If I was more of a my career player grinder, I probably would be more enthused about it uh, than, than some others. So I'm going to actually defer to you. Uh, for the first, you know, you know, kind of comment about this. What is your thought about uh, rep returning? Well, on the one hand, I'm a huge fan of it in theory because it gives you a reason to specifically play Park. I'm very curious to see what this is like in my career. I mean, I'm sorry, in Pro-Am and Jordan Rec Center, how it all integrates. Uh, if it's the same exact thing, if there's some kind of weird differences or whatever if there's different bonuses for those modes. Uh, because I like the idea of ha of the character, again, having its own ecosystem, but also being specifically rewarded for every activity as well. The one thing I'm concerned about is last year, there was a tremendous amount of dodging in the park. Once you hit, honestly, literally, once you hit pro, people would start dodging you, mm -hmm. right? If you were a pro and like a 93, People started dodging you. If you got a five-game win streak, people start dodging you. Me and me and Jason Battle, who are in the chat, five-game win streak with a six-two slasher, people to stop getting on the court. Apparently, that guy has a secret to winning, and we're not going to touch him. Man, so a, it's a, it's some punk pants people in 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 gaming community. Like I, I, you know what? And I'm gonna tell you, I think it's worse in 2K than it is in any other sports game. It's horrible. Very weak minded, I mean, like, sad, you sad. You do not community. see that as much. You don't see it as much. <laughs> you don't see it as much in Madden when you play online. Yeah. Uh, you certainly don't see it as much in MLB the Show when you play online. Yeah. It's just a different group, man. And I think we kind of touched on this before with some other maturity things, man. And, you know, this this really reminds me, and I'm not going to go too far off into this, but I don't know how many people saw this video that Ray Allen did. Uh, he's sitting down, he's watching his kids. Ray Allen, my dog. Not regular Ray. This is very irregular Ray. Easy. My, e <laughs> 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 My man said he was watching he's watching his kids, right? And he said, um, he said, I like to watch them lose. Mm -hmm. He was like, because kids need to learn how to lose. Yeah. He said, because they it, when they when they win too much, when law when loot when losses come, they don't know how to deal with them. And I think we see that, and I see it so much in the 2K community. Cats just for just legitimately don't know how to lose. Absolutely they, don't. They just go to freaking pieces in 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 one way or the other, and so it really blows me, man. And, and I think that what you're talking about, this dodging, dude, I would have never done that, dude. Just think about it. So across the board, gaming generally seems to be a little less competitive. But look at Mortal Kombat. You're a Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat player, or so they say. What? So. <laughs> easy I so I, I, haven't really, I haven't played in man in a, but check it out so you notice much. yourself though when you yeah. go to rank mode you play people roughly at your skill level mm -hmm. when you play casual mode you could play anybody right yes. it could be the kid next door or it could be a guy who just won evo right mm -hmm. and when you go to casual you would think people would stay away from casual mode because there's no skill-based matchmaking it's just mm -hmm. connection based people are always in casual mode and it's up and down. My, my brother plays casual mode all the time. Sometimes he, he plays somebody that look like they playing with a Guitar Hero controller. And sometimes he plays somebody that's like, I think I saw that dude in tournament the other day. Like, yeah. he knew every trick in the book. You never had a chance. And they just like, whatever rolls with it, man. 2K, as soon as someone looks like they're a dangerous opponent, people will literally run from you all day in the park. It's insane. I mean, it's punk, insane. Straight, so great punk pants, man. It's, it's horrible. So my thing with the rep is like, if I have a big sign over my head, like, hey, this guy's played 1500 park games this year and he's got a such and such record and got this kind of rep and he's this overall, am I going to be able to get a game anymore? Mm -hmm. Like they have to have a system to allow us to get games if they're going to have this rep system, something that, you know what I mean? Because I think they said elite three was like 10,000 games. Yeah. Yeah. The main reason we didn't have more games played in the park is because so much of it was spent standing around. Man, do you know? Do you know how many times I've heard people say, um, "Oh, so and so and so and so is a ninety-five. I'm gonna lose." Yeah. What? Right. What kind of? What kind of? What kind of rearing? Were you? Uh, 
What kind of rearing were you subject to? Who who says that? You look at before the game, I'm gonna lose. You know what? I've coached kids in basketball who have said that before games, and I did not play them. I don't need your negativity yeah, right. leading off on the rest of these kids that think they can have actually They're have so a afraid of losing, they project that it's going to happen before they even play. So then that way I can hide myself from the disappointment. It's crazy. There are some people Ridiculous. I play with that guys step on the court and they say, oh, man, it's elites. And yes. I'm like, dude, me and, again, me and Jason Battle sat here and streaked against elites with a 6-2 slasher and an 89 play sharp. Yeah. Like, and we don't even play park like that. Like this, like towards the end of the year is the first time we were really playing more park than like pro am. Yeah. And you know, because park was frankly a little more fun than pro am last year. And I would you know, agree. I yeah, would agree because of, of the lockdowns and, and, and yeah. spacing. So, you know, and, and, and I don't it's even like, like park, so. right? Like it's it's really ridiculous, and that's the most important thing for me with the rep thing is I don't want to be punished for having good rep by not being able to make games. Because it actually is like ridiculous to the point that if we had 93 rated characters or we had one person with us who was like a 94, we'd be like, yo, can you get your other character so that people will play us? Yeah. Oh, I, I got my 89 pure playmaker. So we're going to get games all day because I'm an 89. I don't have that purple logo around me. And then you wash in these people who people would be dodging you all day because it didn't make that big of a difference you know, to have those things. But it's just the perception that makes people run. And I think rep is going to make people run like, you know, like what, roaches what, when the light come on. But, you know, I think I think there's a uh, – here's the solution, right? And, and I think I might have just named this segment. Here's the, here's the solution for people running in rep, right? Do not show rep at the park until the game has already started. Yeah. Okay. And then secondly, you have to intensify the, the penalty for disconnects, right? So if you're in this game and you drop, you take a significant hit to your rep if you drop. So you better get your connection together and you better get, you better get, your, you better get your big boy pants on. Because if you're dipping and you're running because you see somebody – is is it, uh, somebody's rep is a certain is a, at a certain level? Then I mean, at that point, to me, that's when now you're starting to mess with people's overall experience, uh, uh, and that's when I think 2K has to step in and do something. But if you, you know, know what I think they really need? Okay. I think they okay. You know how the cages? How you go across the bridge and you at the cages? Mm -hmm. I think they need specialty courts like that. Where say if I went across the bridge, I'm immediately going to get match made into like Rucker Park or mm -hmm. West 4th Street or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going to get a game no matter what. I don't know who I'm going to be playing against, if I'm going to be playing with randos. I could queue up with my friends and do it all three of us. You know, it, you know, it could be a team or whatever. But I'm guaranteed to get a game. It could be elites. It could be amateurs. It could be pros uh, or whatever the rankings are called now. And I have like, you know, legend and right. whatnot. But you don't know who you're going to get. It's not matchmaking according to skill. But you're going to get a game no matter what. If the park is empty or people are dodging you or your rep is at a certain point where blah, 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 blah. Like they just need a specialty matchmaking thing the way they do when Ruffles is up so that if you just want to play all day and get game after game after game, you have the option to do that. I want yeah. the option to grind the mode. Don't take the option to grind the mode away from me with all of this other stuff. Yeah, you know what I don't like? Here's one thing is, is, is it, it, my patience, right? It gets a little trying. When I shouldn't be as excited as I am when a match actually just starts. Yeah. And the reason yeah. why I'm so happy is, oh, we got a game, we got a game. No, man. I'm supposed to be guaranteed a game when I sit down. That's, that, the, that's the reason when you mentioned Mortal Kombat. That's the reason why Mortal Kombat is so awesome, and that's the reason why sometimes it's difficult for me to stop because I know that another match is literally 10 seconds away. 20 seconds away. All yeah. I have to do is hit restart the game. Right. You know, I that know, I, I know yeah. I'm going to get that flow. But in 2K at Park, you don't get that because I got to find somebody that's willing to play with me either because they think I'm not good enough or because they feel like I'm too good. Whatever it is they think, that's hindering my, my experience. So, yeah, I would 100% agree with you there. But, yes, right, so overall, I'm happy with rep.